So to make compost tea, that pile we've been talking about in your backyard, after it breaks down in a little bit, it um, you can grab some of that, and this works for vermicompost too. And then, so you get a sock, right? You put some in a sock, and then you tie a knot at the top so it can't get out. And then you put it into a five gallon bucket with a air stone from like a fish tank and aerate it. You basically want the air bubbles hitting the sock and breaking up the compost. It's basically knocking the living organ organisms out of the uh, compost inside the sock, which is kind of weird and nasty, I know, but you let that sit 24 hours aerating overnight, and then the next day you use it. Um, the sooner you use it, because it is live, the better. Um, but that's it, you know? You let it soak overnight, you, you put it in like a spray bottle or you can, um, you know, whatever. And then you inoculate anything. You can put it in your indoor plants. It'll inoculate your indoor plants with like a living microorganisms and all that good stuff. And you can use it on your garden to enrich everything. You can use it as a all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, compost tea and composting made simple, really. Uh, nature does everything for you. You just got to stack it in the right spot. And yeah, I hope, I hope that helps. That's a quick rundown on composting and pretty much getting your own fertilizer from natural resources um, that you should have in your backyard. You know what I mean? Or even inside, you're using enough kitchen scraps. You feed enough salad and celery. You know what I mean? You can make some shit inside.